separation of church and state is one of the most enlightened aspects of our Constitution. When we were children, we learned about how people had come over here in the early days to escape religious persecution. The separation of church and state has a dual function. It protects the government from undue influence by the religious sector. You're not going to have a rabbi, priest, minister, mufti come into the, to Congress, as in, let's say, like a country like Iran, and right. say you can or cannot pass this or that law. That's not going to happen here because of the separation of church and state. And no uh, church, mosque, synagogue, Course in Miracles group, Buddhist gathering, Wicca circle is going to have a policeman come in and say, break it up, you're not on the official list. Once again, protecting the religious and spiritual sector from undue influence by government. So that is one of the most important principles of our, of our freedom. Having said that, spirituality has nothing to do with religious dogma or doctrine. Spirituality is the call of the heart. Spirituality is the journey within ourselves from fear to love, from a life of bondage to self to a life, to a life of liberation from self and a sense of a greater belonging uh, to other, other living beings. That's what spirituality is. So the life that does not involve that conversation is a life that is not deeply human. And a, a, a nation that does not put that conversation at the center of its uh, civilization and of its society is one that is moving away from alignment with its deepest human self. We are more than economic creatures. And yet our political conversation posits that we are a little more than economic creatures. And just as in our own individual lives, if all that matters is externals and, and, and not values, then you enter realms of chaos and you produce suffering for yourself and others. And that's what's happened with our economic system. That's what's happened with our, with our, uh, with our government. It's a lack of ethics. It's making money rather than humanitarian uh, values the bottom line. This is what got to shift. We, we need a politics of conscience. Now, there's nothing religious about that. Those, those principles happen to be at the core of religious systems, but religion is not at the core of those values. Uh. You know, somebody once said about, someone who knew him said about Abraham Lincoln, he's so religious, he's beyond religion. This is so deeply religious to become religion. It's just talking about the heart matters, the children matter. There's nothing particularly religious about pointing out that one in five American children live in poverty, and that among all advanced nations of the world, we are second only to Romania. Now, to me, this is a moral issue. Economic injustice is a moral issue. Children living in poverty in the British, most powerful country in the world is a moral issue. Preemptive war is a moral issue. But there's no transgression about church and state here. I honor it and appreciate its, its absolutely um, uh, huge significance to our, to our freedom as, as the next American does. But the, the founders were not meaning to suppress the spiritual conversation uh, with that principle. They were meaning, they were meaning to liberate and, and protect it. Mm -hmm. 